Hello there students, this is Miss Ng from epitomeofsuccess.com Today I would like to teach you some techniques of integration Yeah, um, This is chapter 3 from form 5 at math and integration is part of a calculus um, and this is pre-college calculus right? Um, for SBM at math um, we're going to learn how to integrate uh, two types of uh, algebraic expression Okay, two types of function um, the first type um, I'm going to explain to you what is the first type. The first type is simple algebraic functions that are separated by terms, okay, by plus and minus. So you have um, 3x squared minus 6x plus 2 and uh, integrate it in terms of x. That's what the dx means here, right? And the technique is um, directly opposite of what you did for differentiation, okay? The technique is this you copy the coefficient. And now the power of the unknown x will add 1 and you divide with the power okay then minus 6 a single x power 1 becomes x power 2 and you divide it with 2 plus now a 2 that does not have an x you add an x to it okay it's power 1 over 1 which is uh, negligible so you don't have to write it now a very important thing about integration is this um, you have to remember to add a c plus c. The c is a constant or the c is actually the y-intercept of the curve. Yeah, right? Um, I'm going to explain to you shortly why there is a c, but uh, first let's complete this. Okay, so uh, at this point you just simplify what you can and that leaves you with uh, x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x and plus c and this is your final answer. Alright, um, okay, I'm going to explain to you why is there a plus C, yeah? because I know a lot of students, they just memorize and they just know that there is a plus C. Well, uh, there's a reason behind it. Um, remember, if you were supposed to um, differentiate 2x squared plus 5x minus 3, let's say, right? when you learn differentiation, okay, you're given a curve, 2x squared plus 5x minus 3, and you're asked to find the dy dx, which is the gradient function. So when you do dy dx, you multiply the coefficient with the power and the power of the x will uh, re reduce by 1. Okay, So it's 4x and plus. So this is 5x to the power of 0, which is 1. So it's just 5. And um, recall that you don't do anything to the minus 3 because there's no x to it. You're supposed to differentiate in terms of x and there is no x attached to the negative 3. So therefore, you just... Um, leave it okay so this is your dy dx the gradient function is 4x plus 5 right so now if you were to integrate the 4x plus 5 um, which will give you the original curve yeah okay if you if you integrate it you will get 4x squared over 2 plus 5x and you have to put a plus c the simple reason is because there was a negative 3 in the original curve and because you did not differentiate it so you do not know when you integrate whether it is a negative 3 or negative 2 or negative 5 or 6 or maybe there isn't anything but there, there, there should be a c all right so that's why you put in a c a constant all right and they will ask you to find the c in later questions um but that they will give you some other information in the question for you to find that all right but for now just understand why is it that you have to put a plus c whenever you integrate uh, a function okay all right now um, there are other questions that you see on the board and um, while well, I would like you to try them and uh, look out for another video that I will do um, that, that is a continuation of this one on uh, the other the other few questions yeah okay if you see here there I've written here um, some harder integration questions okay this is integration technique so it's uh, a, a little bit harder a and b so you can try it all right and um, I'll I'll have some videos up later um, to answer these questions all right and there will be other videos as well that will teach you how to do the second type of integration which is integrating composite function all right uh, which is here okay um, but that will be for another video tutorial all right that's it for now